This week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in San Antonio, Texas, where engineers and scientists are developing a laser that's like a powerful long distance stop sign. It's so bright, it can get a driver to slow down without hurting his eyes. The purpose is very simple. We're trying to develop a brand new tool for our soldiers to look at someone's intent in an urban environment to slow them down, create a universal message of warning, stop, you know, don't come here. That could give soldiers extra time to make a decision about whether a driver is dangerous or he's just lost. To create a tool that works and is still safe, they need to know a lot about lasers. Laser on. Lasers are light amplification by stimulated emission, radiation. It's a way of making the photons that make up light all march in the exact same way. Lasers are very directional. Uh, they're very sharp in frequency. In other words, the color is actually pure. They experiment with the wavelength or color of the laser, the power, and the timing of flashes to find just the right combination. Where you point a laser, the laser energy goes. Unlike a, a, a flashlight or a bulb in your house where that energy goes everywhere, lasers are very directional. And so when you point a laser at somebody, all of the energy in the laser is going directly to that person. They're calling their new solid state laser device the driver defeat. Here in the lab, they have a simulator so they can test it on a real driver. We shine a laser through uh, a series of beam splitters to put a laser light safely on a person driving the simulator. We're trying to look at how much energy can be put on a person to actually impair his ability to drive through a small one. Safety is key. They want the lasers to stop drivers without hurting their eyes, so they spend a lot of time studying how light affects the eye. This is the front surface of the eye, the clear portion of the eye as you look at an individual is called the cornea. Right behind that you have something that's called the anterior chamber and then the iris. The iris is what controls the pupil size and determines how much light enters the eye. The light is then focused uh, by a lens inside the eye and comes back to uh, the retina. The retina is much like the film in a camera. It's what captures the light. It's what allows you to see. When the laser dazzler shines on the eye, it creates something called an afterimage. Most everybody has been subjected to an afterimage, whether it be from a sunlight glint or a flash bulb going off in their face. They get that image that kind of follows their, their visual spot around. And what that is, is that, uh, you, you're looking at the time delay for the photoreceptors uh, within the retina to regenerate uh, a specific molecule that is involved in capturing the photons. And you're left with this afterimage. We can create that with a laser safely. And, and the idea would be if we can create that very repetitively and very precisely that we can create that afterimage that really defeats a person's ability to see for a very small amount of time. In their full-size demos, the laser beam is overwhelming. It's really intense and covers the whole front of a vehicle. What the person's going to see is kind of like driving into the sun. If someone's driving a vehicle, the natural reaction is to either slow down or stop. So no matter what language someone speaks, this new device will be a safe, universal stop sign. And that's pretty amazing. I was always tearing apart stuff and putting it back together, building stuff out of wood, even building stuff out of electronics. So I was a tinker growing up, and engineering, particularly electrical engineering, was a natural for me. To find out more about laser dazzlers, lasers, and the human eye, check out labtvonline.org.